So um, because the carnivore diet is like booming right now, there's a lot of people who are listening to um, all these influencers and stuff who tend to draw like a hard line of saying, you can only eat ruminant animals, you can only have salt, and you can only drink water. So what happens is um, there will be these people listening to those influencers and they'll join the carnivore groups and I'll post uh, I'll post a picture of something that I ate that has like all these different spices in it. And someone's like, oh, I thought we weren't allowed to have spices on this diet. And I'm like, um, well, I, I eat them. And, you know, that's, that's how, that's my version of this way of eating. And then other people will be like, well, ugh, dairy isn't carnivore. And I always laugh at that because it's like, <sighs> I just saw a meme yesterday that said, if you have to skin, cut up, defeather, um, and cook your meat, you are not a carnivore either. And I thought that was pretty accurate because it's like, well, define carnivore. What does that mean? If to you it means only meat and salt, okay, well, that's for you. But there's a lot of different ways to do carnivore. And it's like I've, I've said before too, it's like I refuse to accept the carnivore card because as soon as I say that I'm carnivore, there will be so many people jumping on saying, oh, this isn't carnivore, that's not carnivore. So no, 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 I'm not going to say that. I will say that I'm low carb. But just the same, I feel bad for the people who are like, um, I can never have, say, like basil in any of my meals. I can't add thyme to my meatloaf. Um, I can't do this. I can't do that because it's not carnivore. It's like, no, eliminate the spices if they cause a problem. Eliminate the dairy if it causes a problem. Now, granted, you'll only really know if you cut it out for a little while and then gradually reintroduce it. So, I mean, if you're feeling terrible, try cutting it for a while and see what happens. But to make that assumption that, oh, I just can't have this because I'm told I'm not allowed to have it. No, no, no. Step outside that box for a minute. Take a different look at the diet and say, let me see how this works for me. Now, the way it works for me personally isn't always going to work for everyone else. The amount of food that I eat, I, oh, this is something else. I see other influencers say, I will never show you how much food I eat. I will never tell you how much I weigh because I don't want someone to base their journey off of mine. It's like, well, I will tell you how much I eat. I will tell you how much I weigh, not because I want people to base their journey off mine, but as an example, mine is a different journey than other people's. But here's how I got here. You could try using the way I do it for a while. It might not work for you. It might work for you. If it doesn't work for you, change it. Change it up. Add, subtract, do whatever you need to do to make it workable for you. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say <laughs> about that. I just, I keep laughing about it because I'm like, ah, the hardliners, you can't do this. You can't do that. It sounds like a cult. And I just, there's so many people who come in and they're told not to do things and it gets so discouraging and they just want to give up. And it's like, I'm trying to like desperately wave my hand and say, no, 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 you can do it differently. You can try things. You can alter it. You don't have to stick to it this specific way to make it work for you. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.